Okay, everybody. Um, I didn't mention in my Jason Takes Manhattan video. I've already reviewed uh, Jason Goes to Hell the Final Friday. I reviewed that last year as part of my Stupid Movie of the Week um, video. So if you want to see that review of Jason Goes to Hell, I'll leave the link down below to that video. Or, if you want to go the long way, you can go to my playlist and go to Stupid Movie of the Week. And it should be the second video in Stupid Movie of the Week. Because Jason Goes to Hell was the second movie review for Stupid Movie of the Week. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm here to review Jason X. After the longest wait for Freddy vs. Jason, writer-actor Tom Farmer came up with an idea to put Jason in space while Freddy vs. Jason was still stuck in development hell. Okay, so this was the only pitch he gave to the studio. He could have thought of a little bit something better, but... I can't complain that much since I somewhat enjoy this movie. <laughs> this movie is kind of a guilty pleasure for me. Okay. So, in 2008, the U.S. government captures Jason Voorhees and tries everything in their power to kill them. Kill him. And when all that fails, fast forward to 2010, where they're going to get ready to put him on ice because they all, all else is failing, so they don't know what else to do. So they're going to put him on ice to figure out a way to do this. At the same time, a couple of scientists from a different company, of course this is all about money, wants to take Jason away and do something with their, for, with, for their own benefits. Unfortunately for them, Jason comes back and kills everybody and stabs one of the uh, employees there. He and her are frozen. Fast forward 455 years later into the future in the year 2455. And they are found by a group of people on a space vessel. Okay, once aboard the space vessel, both both Vic, both people are Jason and the chick are basically thawed out. Well, she's thawed out. He's just been taken in there as like a sample. And of course, the fucking captain of the ship tries to again all about money. Tries to auction. Put the probably try to get his way to get put the girl on auction because she's 455 years old but a guy that he talked to said that wasn't that wouldn't work because there's a lot of people that have been unfrozen over the years so that's kind of wore off but then he also mentions Jason Voorhees and he uses Jason Voorhees as a sign to make more money because he was a fucking big deal of a killer back then so yeah this movie it's dumb. Very, very dumb. But it is a guilty pleasure. Why do I like it? Because even though there's a lot of stupid shit in here, there's also some positives. Namely, the chick that was frozen alive with Jason and the military crew that's on the ship. These are the only people I care about. These are the only people I give a shit about because these are the only people that are good actors and actresses. Okay, the students that are on this space vessel, and along with their captain and that lady that plays a fucking robot, all suck. Okay, so the movie is split down the middle. You got half good people and half shitty people. Okay, at the time, this was probably the highest uh, budgeted Jason movie at around fourteen million dollars. Sorry about that little take right there. 14 million dollars. This movie only made 16 million. Yeah. And the reason why this movie was set so far into the future was on Sean S. Cunningham and Todd Farmer's part. They set this movie so far ahead of time so it wouldn't intervene with the continuality of the series from Freddy vs. Jason. Okay, even though you could have easily set this movie before Freddy vs. Jason or after Freddy vs. Jason. And we were only two years away from Freddy vs. Jason anyway, so putting it all the way in the future didn't really make any sense. You could have just put it a few weeks before, or two years before, or two years after. We would have got it, and it would have made a lot of sense, and you could have continued the movie franchise 
with Friday, uh, with other any other type of Jason movie you want, and then probably would have null and void that bullshit ass remake we would have come up with, which would be next, by the way. But uh, yeah. As for the kills, some of the the actual kills themselves are good, not the stupid chopping people's body parts off and they're still moving around. I'm talking about when he actually gets his hands on and actually kills them, because in the future you can get your limbs and shit sewed back on. And stuff like that, like these little nanobite bugs that look like the stuff that Peter Parker had for his costume on Spider-Man Unlimited. That covers his whole body and brings the suit on. In this case, it covers your body and heals it. So, yeah. And I love the upgrade they give to Jason. That I love that armor. It it, it was it was well needed. A lot of people doesn't like a lot of people don't like that. I'm not one of them. I like that upgrade. I thought it was real good for him. And it was about fucking time, though. Okay. Another negative. This is the final film. We will see Kane Hunter as Jason. Unfortunately. Yeah. I really want to go to a horror convention so I can meet Jake Kane Hunter. That'd be so fucking epic. But. All that aside. Crappy CGI effects and all. I'm still giving Jason X a C. Because I still enjoyed the acting, I the acting on the good side. I enjoyed the char the good characters, not the stupid cliche bullshit teenage bullshit. That that's a lot of bullshit. And I enjoyed Jason's killing spree and his upgrade. I like a lot of people that probably won't like it. I know Ram Ramble for Life probably won't like this movie either. I think he already did this review, if I'm not mistaken. I'm about to check that out. Probably gonna be a long video. <laughs> so yes. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this movie down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? Um, I don't know any other questions. So, I will see you guys in Freddy vs. Jason. Which is next. I, I said Friday the 13th Remake was going to be next. That's after Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> so, yes. See ya.